ask him in this time of of challenging, you know, of challenge for everyone with this coronavirus uh, globally affecting the world. Um, you've taken the opportunity to share um, messages of, of strength, character, and, and of personality with a lot of people um, around the world. Um, tell us why, why did you come up with the idea to do these videos and, and what are you hoping that it actually accomplishes? Yeah, you know, one of the things um, are was important that um, staying connected, right? That's the key. I just wanted to make sure that I'm staying connected. I travel a lot. I fly a lot. I go around to a lot of schools. Um, yeah, I visit Bermuda a lot. I do a lot of workshops. And, you know, when we're at this, in the space where now, um, you know, I can't do it, you know, so I cannot, you know, spread those messages out. Uh, I, I recall a long time ago when I first started playing pro, one of the things that was really powerful for me was actually writing these columns. So what I said to my staff and my group, I said, you know what? Hey, let's do a Bascom TV. You know, let's do a Bascom's Corner. But we want to kind of make sure that we're delivering information. Yeah, so we're using all these support pieces. And, you know, that's it. And we are in a serious time here, you know. And coming up with my first topic won't change. And that was one of the things I said, you know, because I know that I want things to come even from the experience that I've been through and the experience that I'm going through right now and really connect and empower people. Like there's a lot of people out there that's, that's trying to figure out what next. And it's nothing better than having that voice or that supporting voice. And so I'm just trying to really be that support, uh, you know, something of empowering, you know, to others. Do you use your life experiences when given these type of um, speeches? Yes, I do. And, and that's, the, that's, the, uh, that's what makes it unique with me. Um, like, for instance, my first show, uh, it, it, it was, it, it's a 15-minute run, and it took me 18 minutes to do uh, because I have to just, it has to be genuine. A lot of the experiences that I've gone through when we're talking about even the change. So my part two of my show is talking about actually now change. I'm explaining change giving you some tools to how to get over those fears when change happens is now I have to show you, I have to show you what change that I have because there's nothing better than showing that the person on the other side who's listening and watching gets a chance to relate it. And they're going to get to relate it in this next show on my life on what the journey I went through, because that's actually what it is. Um, also, I'm going to be uh, you know interviewing a lot of people and talking to a lot of people, um, you know, just, People are just going through just the state. What are some empowering things they're doing now? So I'm really going to uh, look to engage. But most of this, this, this show and the things that I'm doing on Bascom's Corner is actually making sure that I can, every uh, experience, knowledge, every tip that I've been giving for my success, I want to share. Um, the one thing is that we're all going to be going through this. Everybody right now is going through some sort of change or some sort of fear. And I know what it's like. And also, it's going to get to the point where we're going to be going live at some point and sharing, getting people to share, because that's how we grow, right? Uh, we're in a tough situation, you know, but we're also in a situation where we can grow, okay? The one thing I say is that I always say this, I always say, being, you know, comfortable, you know, being uncomfortable. So, so it's okay, right? You've got to be okay with feeling uncomfortable. And that's going to be the first start, right? I am uncomfortable. Okay. How do I move forward now? When you look at, you said at the top that you, you travel a lot, you do a lot of speaking and the you've had to change your mental focus as well, haven't you? Yes. I, I, I tell you, it's been crazy because I, I, I not only um, suffered from a speech impediment, I suffered from also a little bit of anxiety. So when I'm stuck, when I'm stuck, like, and can't move, it's a whole different beast. I whole different beast. I mean, it's kind of like thinking like you're drinking three Red Bulls and you're just stuck in a spot, right? And just cannot move. So I had to really kind of focus myself, structure myself, and, and even change back from day one, the changes that I had to go through, those, those, like, it's great fear, like having to change from an outdoor player to indoor player to go through all these like obstacles, changing my number 16 to number 40, 
You know, it, it's crazy. You go through these changes, and I'll tell you the biggest thing that it holds you, it grabs a hold of you, that fear can grab a hold of you. And that's one of the most, like, it frightening things is when it grabs you, and it, it, it's, you start getting doubt, yeah? You start getting doubt, and, and it takes a strong mindset and a strong support to get over that. And that's what I've been fortunate. I, I, I've been fortunate to be able to self-meditate with myself. I've been able to uh, go through these journeys and these experiences and, and actually like grind it out myself. I, I hadn't went to not one counselor for anything that I've been through. Hadn't had to sit down and talk to anybody when I was going through being cut three times from a pro team. And it was really focused when, when people say, oh, you know, you shouldn't play indoor, you should play outdoor. Uh, you know, like that's, it, it can take a toll. It really can take a toll, but that's the tools I'm giving. How did I come out of it, right? Because it can help someone. It can move someone. So ch change is not easy. Change is not easy. And you're going to have to be very patient. But I'm telling you, we are, we are a strong family in Bermuda, a strong family out here in the U.S. and all over the world, right? We got to now breathe and reset, and the one thing I'm going to tell everybody, they need to stop, right? They need to stop. Stop the negative mindset. They need to stop thinking that, okay, well, okay, okay, everything's going to get back to normal. No, create your new norm, yeah? You need to stop. Stop thinking that it's not going to be you, right? Um, so I want them to really take a pause, set the reset button, and really focus on the little things and attention to little things, but they have to empower themselves from nutrition, from health, all the way through the, the young person beside you. You know, it's awesome now that people are actually connecting with their neighbors. Yeah. Think about that, right? That they're talking to their neighbors again. They, they're, they've got time for themselves to realize and like what a breath of fresh air, like, like, like just smells like and taking it in. That's the one awesome thing. And I want people to really, really kind of stop and, and really take a, go through their thought process, go through everything, right? Because this is a time to do it. This is a time to make some changes, yeah? To make some changes and just kind of, you know, make things different, create some new norms. How often will you be doing the basketball corner and, and how, how can one um, connect with you? Yeah, it's good. It's going to be awesome. We, we, uh, you know, these young, these young guys I have on my staff, man, they had to sort me out because when I post, I get excited. I just start posting everything all over the place. I'm like, I'm posting this posting. And then somebody said, Baskin, you're killing me, man. You can't put up 35 pitches at one time, but I get so excited, but I'm learning, right? I'm learning this. So what's going to happen is that Baskin's TV is going to be cool. It's not like we've got our own television station, nothing of that sort, right? It's just, um, Mondays, we're going to be doing MedStar Monday. Okay. Uh, then Tuesdays is going to be, you know, we have two young, you know, young kids going to be going out and to do some awesome stuff, you know, just engaging with their peers. Wednesday is going to be Bascom's Corner. Every Wednesday that's going to get posted. Uh, Thursday, we're going to do some throwback stuff. So, you know, so, so look for how they can connect mm -hmm. with us. Uh, YouTube, everything's going to be running through our YouTube, Bascom TV, you know, just jump on. You'll be able to see all the clips up there. Uh, we do have um, mm -hmm. you know, a Facebook page. Okay, it's linked off from my page. Okay, Bascom TV. Okay, uh, we are going to be doing the Twitter. Uh, so, so there's a lot going on. We are be doing some blogging as well. Um, you know, so other, you know, also vlogs. Yeah, so we're going to be doing a lot of a lot of stuff. But yeah, Bascom TV. You know, you're going to find us on Facebook. You're going to find us on Instagram. So I'm excited about it. You know, I'm excited about it. One of my greatest values of my life is my legacy, and this is one way, you know, to keep it going. All right, I want to thank you for your time. Um, stay safe. Hope, hope everybody in the family is doing well. Um, and we'll stay in touch with you to see how things are progressing and any encouragement you can give to people that are going through this pandemic in Bermuda. Um, we greatly appreciate it. Yes, definitely. You know, and, and one thing, you know, I, I appreciate you guys because, you know, you guys are very important right now. I just got to tell people, you know, don't take things for granted right now. Just, just, just abide by the rules, the laws, you know, you know, just, 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 you know, stay in place. You don't need to, to kind of sneak out to do anything, right? Because that's the only way we're going to actually heal each other and just heal, you know, what's going on, right? To make things better. Yeah. So just, just, just abide by the laws, you know, I mean, me, I'm going to, you know, talk about face masks. I got to run right now. I'm like a face mask. Now I have to wear one. Yeah. So, so it's those little things. It's, it's being uncomfortable. 
Yeah, I know everybody's uncomfortable, but it's okay. It's for a short period of time, so it's on you. Yeah, so so I wish everybody well in Bermuda, you know, and all of us, and you know, looking forward, you know, you know, for this movement and this journey. All right, thanks a lot.